Welcome to my first time visiting Roatan, Honduras, an island about 40 miles off the northern coast of Honduras, my first trip to Honduras, and my first cruise out of Galveston, Texas. Arrived on board Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas, my first time on that ship too. I love watching lifeboat drills, wish I had one. The port's brand new and it's a short walk to the pier, and currently there's only one dock, but there's going to be another one soon, and there's a lot of construction going on. When you first get off the ship, the excursions are to the right, and you just follow the signs. There's a lot of places to buy, things like coffee, all kinds of souvenirs, and there'll be a lot of people out there holding menus, hawking their restaurants in an attempt to get you inside. There's two beautiful pools, and I've heard that there's even a lazy river ride coming soon in the future, and another pool. It'll be big. I wasn't really ready to try one of the restaurants yet, so I decided to take a walk outside the port. You come to this area here where they had a lot of independent tours that you could sign up for. It really is a beautiful walking path, and I didn't know it at the time, but the U.S. State Department had issued a travel safety alert for Honduras and advised to reconsider travel there. This would be a good reminder for anybody that travels to a place they haven't been to yet. Check out the State Department website. And for U.S. travelers, that's www.travel.state.gov. Although I did a little bit of research on Google Maps before I left the ship and headed downtown, I really didn't know where I was going, but I was treated to some fabulous views of the water. The area of Coxon Hole actually looked pretty run down, but there were a lot of properties that seemed to have a lot of potential. You'll see some of those coming up. Since it was a Sunday, most things were closed, but I did see quite a few restaurants that appeared to be open. And again, I still wasn't ready for some food, but the menus looked really good and interesting. Thought about trying to hit them on the way back. Now, I should mention that as soon as you get out of the port area, you're going to be bombarded by locals that are going to try to sell you taxi rides and some tours. And they're even going to walk with you for a while, even if you say no. I always just try to stay firm in saying no and try not to make eye contact. And don't even say no thank you. Just say no. It seems pretty hard to do, but it usually works. And just like I did when I was in Bimini, I realized I was walking down the wrong side of the street. Remember, I always walk facing the oncoming traffic, especially on these narrow roads and motorcycles everywhere and big trucks. Unfortunately, it took me almost getting hit a couple of times before I realized it again. Although there were quite a few stores and restaurants, I didn't really feel like I'd be comfortable in any of them until I saw Bojangles, but it was closed. It was Sunday. I did like this little clock tower here. We'll see a little bit more on the way back. Unless I trip into one of the several holes that I found on each side of the road, they were everywhere. Be very careful, always watch your step. I think I walked about 6,000 steps before I turned around, so that would be about three miles. If I kept going another two or three miles, I would have ended up at Mahogany Bay. That's where Carnival cruise ships and Princess and Holland America, Regent, Oceanic, that's where they dock. And Cox and Hole is where Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, and Norwegian Cruise Lines are currently docking. I guess they can do one ship docking and two tendering at the moment. But once they finish the Cox and Hole port, there'll be at least two big ships able to dock. Hope you enjoy some of the sights and sounds as I walk back to the port. I was almost back to the port when I just about tripped and fell into this hole here. And then I saw a rooster. 
They're, they're all over the place. He's a fish. There you go, fish. Great job. Great job. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, after getting in more than my 10,000 steps, I decided I'd get something to eat. Went up the escalators to the restaurant, but there wasn't really anybody there. I actually enjoyed my time in Roatan. It was quick, and I loved to walk downtown, even though it got a little bit scary, but uh, I was safe. Next time I come here, I'm gonna go down to West Bay, do an independent tour or a shore excursion, something like that, or go see uh, the sloths, monkeys, or maybe do some snorkeling. Roatan is home to the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, the second largest coral reef in the world. Just behind the Great Barrier Reef, Australia. I hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bon voyage! You know, I've seen a lot of things in my bar. I ain't never seen glory coral horses in here. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.